Hi, welcome to the Edge Move session. I'm your Edge Move coach for today. Today we'll be doing numeracy. The numeracy task we're doing, we'll be using a skill circuit for this game. This game has two objectives. The first objective is the numeracy skill objective, NSO. The children will be doing simple times table in a circuit format. The PSO, which is our physical skill objective. The physical skill objective is passing a ball, bounce pass, so bounce between each other, hitting the floor and to the other person's midriff. The second one would be 100 bounces. The first one would be 50 passes between each other in their pairs, and the second part they'll be 100 bounces. The types of players in this game. The types of players in this game will be using year four boys and girls. Playing area. Remember, each playing area is categorized by three intensities. Low intensity. Low intensity can take part in the classroom with them walking around. Moderate intensity. Moderate intensity can take part in a small sports hall or small sports gym where they're running, they don't have to run that far. High intensity. High intensity can take part in a playground where they have to run further and increase their cardiovascular heart rate. This game will take part in a high intensity. Equipment. What you'll need is cones, basketballs, cards for them to write on, pencils, placemats to signalize each four corners, and a differentiation of physical skill in the middle. These could be hurdles or cones, whatever you feel free that the kids can do. How to play the game. The signalize it will be four stations around, the children will start in the middle, walk out to the first corner where there will be a times table. In pairs, they have to complete the times tables before moving to the next station. The next station, they might have to go over hurdles, jumping over hurdles before they get to the first basketball station. The first basketball station, they have to again bounce the ball, bounce pass in between each other to each other's chest 50 times. Encourage the kids to count out loud, remembering the numbers. Once they've done this, they place their basketball down within the cone section, which should be cornered off. And then you have to go through again, another physical, which could be jumping over cone hurdles or in and out of cones. The next corner, they'll complete a different times table. This could be six times table. And again, in the pairs, they complete their six times table or any times table that you have there at this point. And then again, put the times table back under the cone or placemat and move in and out another physical skill or physical activity before reaching another times table. This time they might be faced with five times table. They complete the five times table in their pairs, put it back under the cone, and then proceed by going through cones or over hurdles to the next basketball movement. The next basketball movement, they have to bounce it a hundred times between them. So again, encourage the children to count the number of bounces. Once they've done this, place the ball back down and move to the next corner. From the next corner, they have to go over the hurdles or through the hurdles or whatever, skill activity or physical skill activity you have placed with this could be hula hoops where they have to go through hula hoops. The last one they have to go through another times table and this could be seven times table. Once they complete the times table they have to put it under the cone and return to the middle. Once all teams have returned to the middle the teacher will check each card from each cone where the pairs have written their name on the top to see if they've got it right. Progressions. Progressions in this game, you can change how many bounce passes they do, how many bounces they do. And as I said before, you can change the physical skill that they have to do before getting to the basketball or the times table. Differentiation. You can mix up the numbers or the order of the times table. So instead of going one times three, two times three, or three times three, you can have four times three to start. Six times three and one times three. Get your kids, get them thinking, get them thinking, using their brains a bit more. Thank you.